What's up guys? Hope your weekend is going great. Uh, it's been a pretty long week for me on the other hand. Um, and basically I just wanted to make a video. It's going to be short update and kind of I'm sure a lot of people are experiencing this issue or I think so. And I don't think there's many, many videos explaining this, you know, specifically or well enough or there are some. But um, so basically the issue that I'm going to be talking about and kind of trying to fix um, is scratches on a vr lens so by the way guys i did get an oculus quest it's really cool um i know a lot of info actually just came out with the oculus connect 6 uh, expo a lot of really exciting things for the quest uh, more specifically and uh, i will be making a video talking about that it's in the making um uh, what most interests me is really the oculus link uh, which will basically allow you to play PC VR games from uh, the Rift, for example, on the Quest, so you don't really need a Rift anymore. And also something that's a bit more exciting, I know it's not here yet and it won't be soon, relatively soon maybe, but I doubt it. I think it's going to be pushed off a bit, is really the hand tracking. So you're not going to need a controller. Everything's going to be tracked uh, on your hands. I kind of predicted it. I thought about it a while ago, and I know that um, it is possible, especially with the Quest, when they came out with the self-tracking without an external sensor uh, technology. I knew that it's the same thing, just kind of using the camera and having the proper software in place to be able to kind of bounce off your fingers and movements and track. Uh, I see the biggest issue here is being latency in terms of, uh, and what that means is it will it might detect all the different motion in your fingers and stuff like that. How long will it take to display, right? It, it needs to be really... Uh, very efficient and very fast for it to be usable. Uh, I'm very confident, with, you know, with software and technology now and developers that they will be able to do it. How soon? I don't know. I hope so. But I'll be making a more thorough video on that soon. So basically, today I'm going to be talking a more specific issue, as you'll see by the title, for sure. It's scratch. So me, like an idiot, I basically wear, I have glasses. So I wear it with my glasses. And the issue is it comes with an adapter to kind of put in place for, or to extend the the headset off your face so that you have space between your glass glasses lens, uh, your reading glasses lens or whatever it is, and to the VR kit. Uh, however, I didn't use that adapter for the lens and now I was just kind of plopping it on and off. Uh, and then I'm guessing my lens is rubbed on the VR lens. And as you can see here, uh, I made a few scratches. It's not exactly in the middle where my eye sits, which uh, I'm very grateful for, but it still is uh, basically, um, at times, you know, when I look left or, or move around, at times I, I see it and it does bother a little. It's not a big deal. I'm not uh, killing over it. It's just, I just got it. So it's a bit annoying to have that, but uh, I came to a, what I think is a solution online. So I'm going to be doing that right now. Basically, uh, use this thing called PolyWatch right here. So it's basically a polish for um, watches, primarily PolyWatch um, that have plastic, uh, you know, a crystal, plastic glass faces. It's not, you know, not glass, but that's what they're called. And it just, you kind of rub it in. And it's supposed to polish uh, and buffer things out. Uh, and supposedly it would work well on VR headset. Uh, I kind of researched what material it's made of. And I, I think from my understanding, uh, if I do it properly, it should work and really uh, buffer, if not all of it out, a lot of it. Um, all you really need is the poly wash, like I said, a Q-tip and just kind of a wipe to wipe things off after. So the Q-tip is going to be used to actually apply the poly wash with enough pressure. Um, and you're supposed to do it for two, three minutes. So I'm not going to make that video that long. I'm going to start it, show you guys how much I put and then start. And then I'll pause and I'll come back when I'm wiping it off. Um, so yeah, basically I'm going to start with the poly watch and then we'll move on from there. Here. So here, There's no punk. you don't need to puncture a hole through it or anything. It's already open. I know they say you have to put a tiny, tiny amount. So that's what I'm going to do. Just want to make sure I put it on where the, the main part of the scratch is. I wonder if this will work on a regular uh, Apple Watch, like a Series 4 that doesn't have the sapphire glass on top. I wonder if it will kind of buffer out my scratch as well. I'll try it with this first, and then I guess I'll see. Uh, maybe I'll try on my Apple Watch as well. So I put a tiny amount. I don't know if it's enough, to be honest. Like I said, this is my first time trying it. So we'll just have to kind of learn together and see as we go. So here, 
I'm gonna do it for two to three minutes like that, basically around where the scratched area is. And I'll be back. So here I kinda didn't finish applying, but I did rub it in for two, three minutes. I don't know if I put enough. I feel like maybe I didn't put enough. So I'm gonna wipe it off right now and see if that, you know, if that removed any of the, wow. It did remove a lot, not all of it, as I kind of presumed, you know, but let's see, let me, let me wipe everything off. Let me wipe it off properly and see if that helped. Okay, so here, I'm sure you see, still there, still pretty deep, still there, so I might have not put enough, enough for longer, long enough. So I'm gonna do one more round of this and then I'll come back to you with the results, okay? Hey guys, so yeah, here, just to skip forward, I did it again, a bit more pressure and look how much less the scratches there is. The deeper ones are still there. Right about, you know, that area. But for the most part, a lot, it's much, much better. So I'm obviously gonna try it on, see how it is on the face. And I will be adding the, the accessory for glasses so that I don't scratch it again. But really I'm, uh, you know, it is much better than it was before. Obviously I have to check it on my face, on my face while playing something. But uh, this thing seems to have worked well. I'm very happy, you know, it's only maybe like 15 Canadian dollars. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so yeah, more uh, videos, more content. If you want more VR stuff, more Oculus stuff, um, I'd love to do it. I'm fascinated by VR and it's really cool, I find. And uh, there has been a lot of cool info for the Quest specifically that came out on the Oculus Connect 6 Expo. So uh, let me know if you guys want me to see an overview or talk about uh, any ideas. Uh, I, I understand, I would like to think I understand quite well uh, a lot of it. And um I think uh, there's a lot of exciting stuff that's coming up, so I'd love to talk about it. So uh, for now, have a great weekend, everyone, uh, whoever may be watching this. And, you know, fucking enjoy your life. Life's good. Ciao. So guys, just to confirm, this did work. Basically, I put it on, I turned it on, I played a game, watched the video. Uh, I don't see the blemish anymore through my eyes. So PolyWatch, I'll put the link in the description down below. Uh, it's not a referral or anything, just, you know, so you guys can find it or, you know, information about it, but it worked really well. So thanks again. And if you like this, please, you know, give it a like, uh, let me know if it worked for you down in the comments and then, uh, yeah.